Okay, so what we're looking at here is a uh, 2003 F250. Uh, this is a 6.0 diesel. And uh, I've got the intake manifold, the turbo, the oil cooler, and the cover off the high pressure oil pump. And the problem we were having with this vehicle is uh, uh, there's a no start condition and our oil pressure would only hit about 300 PSI. So first took the valve covers off and while well, cranking was checking for any oil leaks around the injectors or on the supply tubes or anything like that on the oil manifold and really didn't see anything so then we went and took this uh, part here like this and uh, I'll show you here what I found. I know this is a new camera I'm using. Uh, see if I can get the hang of this. It's got a zoom feature which is kind of cool. So uh, anyways this here's a high pressure oil pump. This is where the cover is and where you would have your uh, your uh, high pressure valve or pressure control valve would be hooked onto here as well as the uh, high pressure sender but anyways we just got shop air here and we'll put some shop air into the pump or into the supply line and we'll see what happens. I'm not sure how well you can see that but right there on that fitting I'm probably getting oil all over my lens doing this but anyways uh, you can see you can see that bubbling action going on there by that quick connect fitting over there. I should actually hold the camera back here. I'll try this and zoom it in and see if you can see it better. So I don't get oil all over this thing. Probably got oil on the lens already, but anyways, uh it looked like somebody had actually replaced this pump not too long ago, but you can see that uh we definitely have a leak there by our quick connect fitting and it looks like they even broke part of the part of the that quick connect collar off of there so uh, I'm not sure I think at this point we'll probably just go and replace the pump again just to make sure we're good on that and uh, get a new supply line here with some new uh, a new o-ring or new fittings or whatever is in here at the disconnect so uh, I guess that's about it you can see right there Putting shop air there is uh, definitely, uh, that's where our leak is and that's why we only hit 300 PSI during cranking. Normally you need five to 600 PSI on your high pressure oil line on these to, uh, to get the engine to start. And then once you're running, I don't know, idle is usually I think around 800 or so. And you can go up, I think about up to about 2,500 PSI on the high pressure oil line. Again, this is uh, a 03 6.0 diesel. This is my first time with this camera here. The old camera finally kind of had it. And uh, I don't know, I'll see if I can make some more videos with this, if I can get a spot to actually put a tripod on this camera. But uh, 03 F250 6.0, low oil pressure or low high, uh, high pressure oil line would only hit about 300 PSI during cranking. and. Uh, there's our problem right there. So I guess that's about it. Uh, let's see here. Okay.